Hey guys, so I just got home from work and I had a package waiting for me. And uh, so that means that my James Charles palette got here. All right, so I've already cut it open because I was a little bit impatient. So here it is, here is the box that it comes in. I've been looking forward to this for so long, you guys. Okay, and here it is. It's stunning. Look at it. Guys, okay, I'm gonna find like a super cool look to do for a video tomorrow. So I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, so as you just saw, I had a really terrible unboxing video last night, but eh, it happens. Anyway, so here she is. This is the box that this palette comes in and Guys, I'm just really excited about this video. I am not even kidding when I tell you that I had to wait forever for this thing. Like, it went on sale the very first time it was released and it sold out in like a day. And then after the first restock, it sold out in 10 minutes, I think. So it sold out twice before I could get my hands on it. I'm not joking, every Ulta in the state of Utah hates me because I was just blowing up their phones constantly trying to find somebody who still had one of these in stock. But when Morphe announced that they were doing another restock on January 3rd, I set my alarms, I woke up like an hour before the thing was released, and I just sat there hitting the refresh button until it went on sale and I slammed that checkout button so fast. Not a joke. My laptop is still just like a little bit afraid of me. So anyway, for those of you who are not super familiar with who James Charles is, he is one of the most successful YouTubers in the beauty community. Um, he's also one of the biggest names in the beauty industry right now. Um, he started as CoverGirl's very first male spokesperson when he was 16, I think and he is 19 now. He has his own clothing apparel line and he is now doing this collaboration with Morphe. Um, the full collaboration is this palette and a really, really inclusive brush set that goes for about $120, I think. Um, but this palette alone retails for 40, no, 38. $38 in the US, which to put that in perspective, the naked palettes, which are not even half this size, go for 52. So Morphe is kind of at the top of their game right now with their massive palettes that are so affordable. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons that this just keeps selling out. They chose one of the biggest names in the beauty industry to collab with, and they put a really reasonable price on it. Now, last night, I couldn't help myself. I had to play with it. I couldn't wait until today. I had, to, I just had to get in here. But so this is what it looks like. Like I said, this thing is massive. Um, it comes with, shoot, I don't even remember how many shades, but Morphe didn't come to play. Like this thing is huge. So last night when I broke into this thing, I did a few swatches, which I will cut in right about here so that you guys can check those out. Okay guys, so I just did a couple of quick swatches. I couldn't help myself after I got it open. So I swatched this beauty right here and this purple right here and this hot pink right here. I was a little bit nervous because uh, purple is actually a really hard pigment to make. It usually comes out looking really sheer and I have never found a matte pink that I have been impressed with. It also usually just comes out really sheer and like disappointing. But let me tell you guys, this has some pigment. Like, he was not messing around with this palette 
Um, anyways, this palette, amazing. Like, the color payoff, and it's... You guys, my mind is blown. I've seen a lot of online reviews. People have a lot of things to say. People can always find something to complain about. One of the biggest things that people complained about was that they noticed that their eyelids were stained after using this. And so last night, I actually tried to take off the makeup with just a washcloth and water, and I did notice that it did stain my eyelids like a little bit, but then I just took like a regular makeup remover wipe and it took it right off. So I think that as long as you're using the right products to remove this makeup, you're not really gonna have any issues with it. And I mean, you're gonna see a little bit of residue when you're taking this makeup off because the color payoff is so intense. So I don't really have an issue with that. Um, I did notice that some of the colors are more buildable than others, so they come off a little bit more sheer, but they layer on really well together. So overall, I don't really have an issue with this palette. Um, I think that you guys will really enjoy this. It's worth the investment, I think. It's worth the time spent waiting for it to restock. It is sold out again. So you might have to wait a little while to get your hands on it, but it is absolutely worth it. So I am going to go throw together a quick tutorial for you guys and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, let's just jump right in. So first off, I am going to start with a little bit of scotch tape and that is going to help us get some nice clean lines when we're making big dramatic looks like this one's going to be. We're gonna start off with some Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the original formula. It is my favorite and I'll probably never use any other primer. So then we're gonna take our favorite fluffy brush with the whales and we're gonna dip into shade canvas to sort of prep our eye for the rest of the shadows. Then we are gonna take our fluffy Morphe M330 brush and we are going to dip into that pretty shade of Tune and it is going to sort of serve as our crease shade. Next, we're just going to take a packer brush and go into the shade B, that nice bright yellow color. And this shade is a little bit more buildable, so feel free to really pack a few layers on there to get that bright dynamic look. Back with our fluffy brush, we are gonna dip into the shade 518 and we're going to sort of use that as a transition color on the outer V of our eyelid. Now we are just going to take sort of a firm brush and we're going to dip into the shade Spooky, that nice matte black color, and we're going to smoke that into the outer V, but we don't want to use too much because we don't want it to overwhelm the rest of the look. Now we're just gonna go in with our fluffy brush and we're just gonna blend that out a little bit. We don't want the colors to get too mixed up or it'll start to look a little bit gray, but we do want them to have a smooth transition. So now we are gonna take our Morphe M514 brush and we are just gonna use that to keep blending. Now we are going to take our fluffy brush and we are going to dip into the shade Ring Light and we are going to use that to highlight our brow bone.
Next, we're gonna go in with our Tarte Maneater Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm still leaving the tape on because it helps keep the eyeliner's edge just right flush with the eyeshadow edge. Then we're gonna go ahead and take that tape off. And we are just gonna take a little bit of that shade B and we're gonna put it into our lower lash line just to add a little pop of color underneath our eyes. Then we're just gonna take our little tiny M213 brush And we are just gonna finish off that look with some dramatic um, eyeliner on the lower lash line. Last but not least, our Benefit Their Real Mascara. So because James Charles never does things halfway, he actually included a highlighter shade and that is called Face and it's technically an eyeshadow, but it looks so pretty just on the cheekbones and sort of highlighting the higher planes of our face. And there you go, a quick and easy, but really bright and dynamic look.